Interesting to take a look at pacemakers versus ICDs, how you can recognize them on a chest x-ray and what their functions are anyway. So this right here is a pacemaker, and pacemakers, as well as ICDs, are usually placed prepectorally on the left side, subclavicularly. And typically these pacemakers have two leads, one going to the right atrium and one going to the right ventricle. In some cases there is biventricular pacing, in which case there is a third lead that goes through the coronary sinus to the epicardial side of the left ventricle and that can give left ventricular pacing, which is useful in patients with, for instance, uh, bundle branch blocks with very wide QRS complexes where the ventricular dyssynchrony can cause hemodynamic disadvantage. Pacemakers are usually placed for the indications of sinus node dysfunctions, where an atrial lead will take over the function of the sinus node, or high-grade AV blocks, um, which can occur as a consequence of, of tick bites, for instance, infections with Borrelia burgdorferi, um, which cause uh, AV blocks, in which case there will be no transmission of electrical signals from the atria to the ventricles, and even though there may be normal sinus node activity, the ventricles aren't receiving anything, and typically an escape rhythm will ensue, but in some cases this will not happen, which, as you can imagine, is very dangerous. Um, in which case you would have an atrial lead that causes atrial contraction and a ventricular lead that causes subsequent ventricular contraction in a coordinated fashion. Uh, it's important in pacemakers as well as in ICDs to take a look when you check an x-ray uh, at the continuity of the leads. In some cases lead fracture may occur, maybe it may occur uh, procedurally, it may also occur as a result of um, um, movement of the arm, movement of the chest, where the clavicle um, um, and the first rib um, touch on each other, thereby causing stress on the lead, which may then fracture. And the lead fracture, it should be recognized. Now here we see an ICD, which is a different device. ICD stands for internal cardioverter defibrillator and although ICDs can also uh, provide uh, pacing they have a much more important function which is that they can provide a shock in case of life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias and you can recognize ICDs by these widenings in the lead and these widenings here's another one are shock coils which can provide a couple of joules of electricity and typically uh, ICDs are, uh, are placed here in the, um, in the right ventricle where they can give off the shock. In some cases you have a um, CRTD, um, it's a cardiac resynchronization device and defibrillator where there is also an epicardial lead on the left ventricle. Again, as I told with the pacemaker, this epicardial lead in the left ventricle is placed through the coronary sinus in the right atrium and it just it's it's retrogradely because the direction of flow through the coronary sinus is actually into the right atrium but the cardiologist uh, in order to place an epicardial lead on the left ventricle can um, insert the lead through the coronary sinus and retrogradely fit it on the epicardial side of the left ventricle. So that's how to recognize a pacemaker versus an ICD. And we also talked a bit about the functions and we talked about um, the importance of bearing in mind the potential for lead fracture.